Hi folks, welcome to Staying Positive in the Apocalypse. It's a beautiful day out today. The smog is only mildly corrosive, and the scrap dogs have moved on to find more dried corpse flesh to feed upon. Real, real delicious for those guys, they love that. So I was hiding from the dogs for a while in this cave, and I'm feeling a little gross, so I decided to make some homemade soap. It's basically just two ingredients. I'm rendering animal fat tallow in this one pot here, and in this one it's going to be lye, which is made by boiling down water mixed with the ashes of a hard wood. That sounds like your life, a fat lie shaping itself from the ashes of civilization. Patrick Stewart? Where is he? How's that soap coming along? Good, looks good. Maybe you could polish up my shell for me. If it's not too much to ask. <laughs> Am I supposed to think you're the real pet? Like, your head's the size of a mandarin orange, for Christ's sakes. Come close, I have the grandest thing to tell you. No, I'm not going over there. Tell me from here. Please, just listen close for a second. I will tell you something. Okay, what, what do you want? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. I was going to show you more about how to do the soap, but I was scared some robots would show up in that area. I had to leave. Anyways, you, you mix it together and it thickens and you make like a bar out of it eventually. It's pretty straightforward. What I'm really excited about is that I came across this relatively intact electronics store over there. Maybe there'll be some monitors in there and I can build like a video editing suite and I can start making... What's that sound? Oh, a living person! And just look at all those beautiful monitors they've salvaged. This is great. Hey! I'm Plague Roach. Do you mind if I film you for my broadcast? Oh! A celebrity guest for the show today. You're not by any chance a robot in disguise sent here to, you know, destroy my mind through tricks and negativity, are you? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, how can you know for sure? Maybe you get replaced in your sleep and you wake up loaded with memories and you just go on thinking you're real. Hmm, I never thought about it that way. What if the real you is a meat battery somewhere? Oh, meat batteries. Meat, battered meat, mmm. Oh god, I'm so hungry. Yeah, fried chicken with that cornflake batter recipe. That's my favorite. Of course these could all be implanted memories and I'm a machine, just like you said. Maybe I've never even eaten a fried chicken. You might want to sort that out before you go on accusing others of being artificial. It's just that the chances are so low that... Out of all the people, a celebrity would survive the apocalypse. I had just as much chance as you or anyone. You know, I'm resilient. I've got martial arts skills. I'm very flexible. Watch this. Yeah! Oh, what did you do that for? It's not like you need four cameras for a show that's being broadcast into an empty dust cloud. Well, what do you say we just go our separate ways and I'll just take one of these monitors here and I'll forget you wrecked my camera. No, you have no right to any of the monitors. I am the keeper of all technology, and they will be used for higher purposes. Things will be done with them. Not your little video diaries or whatever the fuck you do. Whoa, take it easy there. Back in the days of YouTube, they would have demonetized my content for that kind of language. It sounds like you've seen my broadcasts. So there you go, proof of an audience, right? Yeah, but I couldn't watch the whole thing. I got bored and I kicked a hole in my monitor. And that's why I need more monitors. So you owe me a monitor. Give me that one back. Mathematically, the human race still has a chance. If you change all the ones to nines. Hey, survivors, don't listen to him. He doesn't realize that the sun will one day shine through the smog and flowers will bloom once again. Shut up. You're giving me a headache with all your feeble-minded positivity. Speaking of headaches, see this? Willow bark. And it's got salicylic acid in it, which is the active ingredient in aspirin. Where did Keanu go now? Where 
Where is he? Oh, there he is. Here. Can you chew this for your headache? Tastes like I ate a chalkboard eraser. That means it's working. It's erasing the pain. Um, what have you been doing here? What's this? I've configured them to store residual human suffering. What? Now they can absorb the ghosts of millions of people's pain that was stored in the atmosphere. And then it turns it into digital pulses, and then I watch the pulses and drink it in through my eyes. Was it like electrolytes, or...? Feedback. Delicious video responses to an imprinted loop of spiritual torment in the very air that surrounds us. Luxurious waves of pain to charge up my own battery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, John Wick, look. Your wax is melting. You're just terrified of my truth, and it's messing you up, and that's understandable. I get that. Well, hang in there, little Buddha. I'm going to get going now. The monitors also absorb suffering from the living. Here, just come back. I'll turn that little light off in your head now. Ah! No. Whoa. Look at that one there. Looks like it's all loaded up with that psychic pain he was talking about. I'm gonna set those little spirits free. Um, I guess that's it for today. I hope all you survivors out there stay resourceful and positive and you have go a shit grip. in the ocean. What? How dare you? On my show. Filthy language. Wash his mouth out with soap.